Republican Greg Wallace has declared victory over Democrat Christy Holstage in the tight race to represent California's 47th Assembly District. Wallace has traded the lead with Holstage several times since Election Day, and final vote totals show him with an 85-vote lead out of about 170,000 votes cast. I spoke with him today about the results and his plans for the future. Greg, first off, your reaction to what turned out to be one of the closest, if not the closest, state assembly race in California history. Well, thanks, Peter. Appreciate you having me on here. And, um, you know, it was a long count there. Um, it's been a month since Election Day, but, you know, we trust the process. We trust the election officials. And uh, at the end of the day, we came out 85 votes ahead. So we're really excited. Just 85 votes. Why do you think it was so close? You know, we knew this was going to be an uphill battle from the beginning. It was going to end up being a close race. Um, obviously, this district is uh, has a Democrat registration advantage, and we were outspent two to one. Um, but we had a great team of volunteers uh, and supporters, and I just want to thank them for all of their hard work. We couldn't get this done without them, and um, we're really excited. At this point, Christy Holstage has not conceded. She says she and her team are going to assess whether there should be a recount within the next few days. Your reaction to that, and do you think there will be a recount? You know, any voter in the state of California has a right to request a recount within, uh, I think it's six days after the election process. Um, that is their right, but we trust the count. We trust the election workers. Um, that's why it did take so long to get all these ballots counted. And uh, we feel confident that the result's going to stand. I have to ask, what are the things that attack it? kept calling you was wishy-washy Wallace. Meet wishy-washy Greg Wallace. Do you think that ended up backfiring for them? Because it certainly got your name out there and it was memorable. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think uh, Wishy Washy Wallace was a pretty fun ad for us. I, uh, I smiled every time it came on and um, we're looking forward to cleaning up the state. So maybe it was appropriate. What are your goals as state assembly member for the 47th district? I think the first order of business is um, getting out in the community and, and listening to, uh, to uh, our community members and our uh, community leaders. We're gonna go on a listening tour um, my job is to be our voice up in Sacramento, and I'm ready to roll up my sleeves and get to work. And uh, any specific goals that you have in mind, things that you would like to accomplish? I mean, you know, obviously, we campaigned for the last 10 months talking with voters about how we're going to make California safer, how we're going to make our schools better, and ultimately how we're going to make it more affordable. Um, those are the broad objectives that we'd like to accomplish. Being a one out of 80 members, it's something that uh, we're going to have to have conversations with once I get up to Sacramento. Anything else, Greg, that you would like to say before you let you go? I just want to say thank you so much to the voters. It's uh, the honor of my lifetime to be elected to represent you and be your voice, and I look forward to doing the work. All right, Greg, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Peter. Thanks for having me. Christy Holstage declined to speak on camera, but she did send us a statement which reads, this is one of the closest legislative elections in California history, and we owe it to the voters to get it right. 85 votes is incredibly close in a district with 170,000 votes cast, and the difference is less than a tenth of 1%. Over the next several days, our team will be closely analyzing the results and assess whether a recount is worth pursuing. Regardless of the outcome, I remain committed to our region and serving our community.